An army marches on its stomach, or so the old saying goes. My clansmen have been farming and tending sheep for hundreds of years. But gathering enough food to feed an army is a different matter entirely. Without a strong economy, the meagre forces that we have cobbled together will collapse again. To support the Scottish army, you will need to build up your stockpile of resources. To win, gather 50 food, 50 wood and 50 gold. To gather food from the forage bush, click a villager, then right click a forage bush near the blue flag. The villager will continue working for you, carrying the food to the town centre. The amount of food you have is shown in the upper left corner of the screen. In addition to your food stockpile, you can see your current wood, gold and stone stockpiles. The more villagers you have, the faster you can gather resources. Assign your new villagers to gather food. Great. You now have 50 food. To win, also gather 50 wood and 50 gold. Here. To gather Bonage. wood, Bonage. click a villager, then right click Good. a tree. If you haven't found any gold yet, search in the unexplored territory. Good job. You now have enough wood. Good. You found some gold. Excellent. You now have enough gold. You're well on your way to making a city. Edward Longshanks, for all his disrepute, has shown his military tactics in Wales, England and France to be very effective if not cruel and ruthless. He is indeed an enemy to be feared. The English sacked the town of Berwick-upon-Tweed. With that, I could call it a battle, but it was truly more than a massacre. Unless we organize our army, there will be more massacres to follow.
I pray that we can be ready when Long Shanks comes.